the creation of the International Center for the Prosecution of the Crime of Aggression against Ukraine was discussed in the EU Council by the Ministers of Justice of the EU Member States. Gunnar Strömer, the Swedish Minister of Justice, called the establishment of such a center progress in the judiciary. The International Center will be directly linked to the Joint Investigation Team. The issue of compensation for damages to Ukrainians is an integral part of the work to restore justice, says European Commissioner for Justice Didier Reinders. The European Commission supports the creation of an international laws register. Such a register would enable us to obtain evidence from citizens on the damage, loss and injury suffered in one central location so that we know exactly what Russia is financially liable for. Because when it comes to paying up, there will be a very heavy price to pay. 30 states officially supported the creation and holding of the tribunal, the Ukrainian Foreign Minister reported. The crimes of Russian military personnel in Ukraine are already being investigated by Ukrainian law enforcement officers. At the moment, there are about 70,000 criminal proceedings. And in order to hold the military political leadership of Russia accountable, a special international tribunal is needed. What the format of this trial will be is still an open question. For example, the European Union is considering one of the options, the so-called hybrid tribunal. It is supposed to be based on Ukrainian legislation and approved or supported by the UN General Assembly. Kyiv called this option unacceptable. The office of the president considers the creation of a special tribunal to be the most correct solution. The UN General Assembly must vote on the format of the court and determine its powers. We are talking about bringing to criminal responsibility the top of the aggressor state for the commission of serious crimes of international humanitarian law, and perhaps decisions that will be correlated with these ones will be made, namely the payment of compensation, the issues of possible requisition of money, the origin of which will be associated with the aggressor state, that is, the modality of the entire process. The database of war criminals already now contains the data of 218,000 people. 172,000 of them are representatives of the Russian military leadership and representatives of the Russian armed forces. This was announced by the Minister of Internal Affairs of Ukraine, Ihor Klimenko. According to him, the Minister of Internal Affairs is ready to share the database with partner countries. Ukraine, Poland, Lithuania and later Estonia, Latvia, Slovakia, Romania and the Office of the Prosecutor of the International Criminal Court established a working group to coordinate joint investigations into Russian war crimes. There is a fairly simple way to punish the leadership of Russia and to hold them accountable. This is a crime of aggression. That is, they started a war, essentially criminal and aggressive. That's it. They are already to blame. It is impossible to do this with the help of the International Criminal Court, because the ICC can only involve the Russian military leadership for the crime of aggression. If firstly Russia ratified the Rome Charter and exceeded it, then the ICC could consider this issue. Or secondly, if the UN Security Council gave such an instruction, but Russia has not ratified the Rome Charter and will not do it. And Russia is a member of the UN Security Council and it can use veto. Therefore, a separate tribunal is needed, which will unite a certain number of civilized countries and consider whether the Russian military leadership is guilty. All legal difficulties on the way to the implementation of the tribunal are easily solved if there is the political will of all partners, without exception, says the President of the European Parliament. It is no longer a matter of how, it is a matter of when. And even now that we see already the cases that are being prosecuted in Ukraine, the information that is being gathered by different member states, by the United States, by the United Kingdom, it is about bringing persons accountable, including Vladimir Putin, to justice. Without that, we will not have peace. This summer, the International Center for the Investigation of the Crime of Aggression will open in The Hague. A new body will prepare materials that will later become an accusatory base at the tribunal so that all those who gave criminal orders and organized the genocide of the Ukrainian people are punished. Reported by Dana Kulesnik, Yulia Bazborotko, Larissa Zubenko, UTV News.